little bill here, Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, discuss uh, something uh, about how we react to various situations and uh, how our reactions can affect the outcomes. Uh, specifically, uh, how we react uh, to situations in uh, survival. Uh, keeping a cool head is very important uh, in uh, survival and uh, bushcrafting uh, in particular. Uh, oftentimes there's a lot of uh, things don't always go exactly right and there's always uh, little problems that we have to uh, work out and think our ways through. And uh, you know, I've seen people, you know, who, who you know, get into a, a, a sticky situation or they're presented with a, a problem and they, they, they just freak out. And in a survival situation, you know, keeping a cool head uh, and thinking your way through uh, things is very important. Uh, you know, once we get angry, uh, we lose the, the capacity for rational thinking. Our rational thinking abilities are uh, are greatly diminished and we get into a, uh, a fight or flight situation and that's very dangerous uh, in, a, uh, in a survival situation that, that could be uh, life-threatening so when you go through uh, situations like that to where you repetitiously uh, react in a negative way to many different situations, sometimes they're very, uh, very small little things. You're actually training your mind, you're, you're, you're developing uh, neurologic pathways. Uh, it's kind of like muscle memory, uh, like a martial artist who uh, repetitiously does, you know, blocks, strikes, over and over and over and over to develop muscle memory to where if they're in a situation and they need to use those blocks or those strikes they don't have to consciously think about it it's, it just comes automatically and when we react repetitiously to various situations say in a negative manner uh, you know, even if it's a little thing, and, and the first response is to fly off the handle and and, uh, and uh, exhibit anger, we're actually training and developing a, a, a muscle memory of sorts um, in our minds to where it, it becomes automatic every time we're presented with a, a negative situation or something doesn't go right or whatever, and our first response is to to uh, lash out in anger, uh, we're, we're, we're wiring the mind to function in that manner. And in bushcrafting and survival, uh, our most valuable asset is not equipment, it's not uh, the latest uh, expensive gear, uh, it's our minds. Our minds are the most valuable tool that we could have and uh, you know that's why uh, if you're really going to get serious about bushcrafting and, and survival it's a good idea to uh, discipline your mind and if you're prone to reacting negatively to each and every little situation uh, because I can't tell you the, the number of times that I've uh, fired by friction is very frustrating. And when I was learning to make fire uh, primitively, very frustrating. I it was it was it really pushed me to to some limits, and it, it opened up. Um, some doors for me actually and it allowed me to uh, to learn a lot about myself that I, I didn't know previously uh, but 
it could be very frustrating and if you're in a survival situation or a bushcrafting situation and you depend on that that fire and it's life or death or maybe uh, you're hypothermic or whatever or a member of your party is hypothermic and you know it's a life or death situation you gotta get that fire going things don't always go right um, there's nothing chiseled in stone in survival of bushcrafting anything can happen and people do die under situations like that and keeping a cool head and thinking your way through that situation uh, can greatly improve the uh, the odds and the outcome so and I I am working on myself as well uh, you know uh, nobody uh, lives in a glass house and I have worked very hard on disciplining myself and still have work to do but if we have wired our minds to react in a negative manner we can also rewire our minds to to uh, to react in a positive manner and the easiest way to do that is if you're in a situation something's not quite going right or whatever step away from it for a few minutes regroup take some deep breaths calm down um, don't react in a negative manner start throwing stuff uh, just walking away from it for a few minutes take five and force yourself to calm down and when you do that you're actually setting up new neuropathic uh, pathways in the mind and you're rewiring your mind to react in a positive manner and I know it takes a lot of effort and I know it's it's not easy I'm there myself and I have come a long ways but like I said I'm not perfect and I don't know anybody who is uh, there's also another technique that I use that has really worked very well it is uh, calmed me down a lot and I, I use a meditation technique and you'll find that this will uh, help you in many different aspects in your life and in positive ways uh, and also uh, in positive ways uh, for your health so what I do is uh, clear your mind get comfortable first you can sit up lay down, whatever's comfortable for you, and uh, clear your mind, and take some deep breaths, and relax your entire body, just let your whole body relax, and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and through the nose, out through the mouth, and concentrate on nothing but your breathing, that's all there is to it, if your mind wanders a little bit, while you're doing this, just gently bring your thoughts back to your breathing, and it will at first. Your mind's going to jump back and forth uh, about any and everything, and it takes a while, and that's because we're, we're bombarded with a lot of stress in life. We're bombarded with uh, advertising on TV and, and this and that and radio, and, and so we live in a very, very hustle and bustle type of society. Most of us do. Uh, so it, it's it's very easy to get caught up in that uh, and it's very detrimental not only to our mental health but it's very detrimental to our physical health as well but concentrate on your breathing in through the nose out through the mouth and you'll actually find that it's so relaxing that sometimes you don't want to come out of it and if that's the case if you have the time stay in it you may even just fall asleep and uh, that's a very easy form of meditation. It's going to have a lot of very, uh, very positive benefits uh, on your health. It's going to have a lot of positive benefits uh, in, uh, on uh, physical health and mental health uh, as well. And you're going to find, uh, if you do this, try it once a day. And you're going to find that you're going to be able to cope with uh, stress and stressful situations uh, a whole lot easier uh, than you did before and the longer you do it uh, 
the, the easier it uh, it uh, it gets, and uh, you'll find it it'll uh, it's going to produce a lot of positive benefits. It really will. So, uh, anyways, guys, just a few thoughts I wanted to share with you, and uh, I'm uh, still on scene here. I shot a bow drill video, uh, little mini kit here. I call them pocket kits. And uh, this one I made from uh, Atlas Cedar. I just put the uh, video up, I think, a week ago on the channel. Uh, the identification of Atlas Cedar and showed the branch where I harvested uh, this little branch from uh, Deadwood. And uh, I'm very impressed with it. I mean, it's extremely easy to get a cold with, uh, with this. And uh, I put a few other little tips up in that. So I'll be placing that... Uh, that video on the channel at the same time that I place this one that I'm doing right now. So, but uh, anyways, I appreciate your viewership and uh, your support. And uh, uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, uh, feel free to post below. And I love trading information and ideas. Uh, I love to teach, but I also love to learn too. And uh, none of us know it all. I'm a student. I will always be a student. It's a it's a it's a wonderful journey. I have a lot of fun doing this, and I love uh, uh, I love interacting uh, with people and uh, and uh, trading ideas and comments and everything. It's it, uh, it really brightens up my day. Anyways, guys, uh, you have a great day, and I will see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.